Hi guys, welcome to Amayao TV and today I have a very handsome, big man next to me. He is Big Sam and we are getting to know him a bit more, what he's all about and trust me, he has a project you really want to know about. Hi Big Sam. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. Good, good, Welcome good. to Amayao TV. Thank you, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Alright. Guys, are you, are you, are you rushing <laughs> as much as I am? Anyway Big Sam, tell yes. us. Big Sam. What is the name behind Big Sam? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I got that name back in uh, 2005, and I got it from one of my, actually, he was my godfather back in school, back in Columbus, Ohio. Um, if he's watching right now, shout out to you, Chris Gunn. He gave me that name. Basically, um, he gave me that name because I, I like, I like, I like to do big things, I guess. You know, I like nice things, and you know, I like big things. So he's like, hey, man, you know, that name will fit you. So, you know, he added the big to my name, Sam. I'm actually called Samuel. So he added the, the big to the Sam. So the big Sam. And everybody um, captured that name, gravitated to it. And it's, and it's, it's you it, now. It's, it's your it's, brand. It's, it's my now. name now. It's my brand now. So. Have you always been in Ohio? Yes. Well, actually, um, I moved from Ghana back in um, 2002. And I moved to Columbus, Ohio. So um, in Columbus, Ohio, um, I graduated high school. Um, Northland High School in Columbus, Ohio. And then uh, I went to CSU for about a year and a half, and I joined the military back in 07. What is the project you're currently working on? Okay, so um, currently um, I'm, I'm transitioning from um, a one entertainment group called um, AK24, which, you know, I'm, I'm part of the AK24 entertainment group. Mm -hmm. I'm transitioning from that to um, BSB Productions, which is... Um, of solely just my production All right. um, and BSB um, is coming from Big Sam Boss production mm -hmm. so um, that's that's what I'm currently working on right now so out of the BSB production I'm going to be having um, um, radio uh, podcasting I'm going to be doing DJing and I'm going to be doing event uh, promotions as well as, as well right but do you have a past record of you know event promotions DJing radioing do you have a history with that line of work before you you know planning on making this big move on yeah, your yeah. big sum yes I do um, thanks for asking that because I actually do um like I mentioned previously I have um, I started from AK24 Entertainment right. and AK24 Entertainment um uh, we started back in 2005 in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we were the first um, entertainment group that started a, a red carpet event in the African community. So wow, um, it was it was big. And then um, we also um, we was the first uh, uh, promoters at that time to bring Bisa K there to Columbus, Ohio, which was back in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, so we we have a past, and also we um, we host Ghana's Independence. Actually, that's what we're known for in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. We're known for hosting red carpet events, um, um, highlighting Ghana's independence every right. year. So more Columbus. about the black community, the exactly. Ghanaian the, community, the, the, the Ghanaian the Ghanaian community precisely. Back in back Columbus. in Columbus, Ohio. Yes. Yeah. What about your podcast? Tell me about your podcast. You know, you 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 said earlier part of our interview yeah. that radio has always been a thing that you wanted to do. Yeah. Your podcast. What what's the journey you? Look at when you are hosting your podcast. Yeah, so um, with with the podcast, we do um, uh, we do more of uh, we talk about relationships. It's, it's a talk show. We talk mm -hmm. more about relationships. Um, you know, uh, for example, like long distance relationship does it work? Why does it work? Why you know, what are the causes to why um things work and things things not working? Work. You mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. Um, we do have our interviews as well too. And also, um, as far as our genre of music, we focus more like Afrobeat. You know, once in a while, we can open the line, the phone lines for um, uh, any, any kind of request. You know, to, to request music and stuff like that. So um, it's kind of all around, but but mainly um, we do more of it. It's a talk show. Talk yes, show. It's a talk show. Plans of you know coming back home and you know um, moving be um, Big Sam production into Ghana, whereby you create your own event, you host people and do stuff to help build your brand back home. As compared to in um, Ohio. Thank you. Thank you for the question. That's a very good one. Um, so, it, it in in a, in the long run, we plan on coming home to to make this really big. So the long term goal is what you just mentioned. It's it's something that we're planning to bring back home to you know, uh, uh, um, make it a mass production. But for now, we want to focus on what we are we already have. You know, All so right. the little capital that we have, which is Columbus, Ohio. We want to um, capitalize on that and then the long term go bring everything back home and you know making the mass productions. So I want to know more about life in Ohio, life yeah. back there as compared to when you were here, when you moved. How was the transitioning and how are things different from there compared okay. to here? So um, it is a big difference, but mm -hmm. I'll, 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 we, we can, I'll briefly talk about yeah. it. So um, 
moving to Columbus, Ohio was, uh, it, it, it was, it was, it took, it took some time to go through that, that, that smooth transition. And, um, you know, just, you know, going to school, you know, being African, Ghanaian precisely being in school, you know, with the, you know, for Ghanaians, you know, we, we learned the more of the Queen's English. Mm-hmm. So, and we do have an accent, obviously. So, you know, it's, it's, it wasn't easy. We had to, I had to adjust and, you know, kind of pick that lifestyle a little bit. But once I got, I got into the groove, everything started rolling smoothly. And, um, speaking of Columbus, Columbus, living in the city of Columbus, Columbus is nice. It's mm-hmm. nice. You know, it's a lot of Africans in, in Columbus, yeah. Ghanaians, Raleonians and stuff like that. So I, in my opinion, I think Columbus is more like the, the, the little New York right now mm-hmm. because it's, it's growing. Mm-hmm. It's on a fast pace. A lot of businesses, a lot of, it's very diverse. A lot of different people in the city. So, um, it's, it's, it's a good city. It's, it's to fun. It's, it's fun. fun to be there. So radio podcasting, being a DJ, if I'm to take your phone right now and be like, oh, big sums, I want to, you know, vibe to what you vibe to. Right. What are like the top 10 Afrobeat songs I'll find on your phone? Well, top 10 right now, Afrobeat, um, man, it's going to be Wizkid mm-hmm. one right now. Weezy, baby. <laughs> Fever. <laughs> Edo is doing good. Um, Shatawale, Ghana, Ghana, mm. Ghana, Ghana's up there. Mm. Um, South Korea, what's up there? And um, this this new art, artist, um, um, Quincy Arthur. Quincy Arthur, going yeah. up, Charlie. He's all the way yeah, grinding he's, up, he's there. up there. He's up there. This is a track called "We Are Here There." That, that's that's on this night. Uh-huh. So um, I think I, I'll, I'll keep it five for now. Five. Yeah, five. Yeah. No so, bad. No bad. I think not I can. Bad, yeah. I can write. Ty um, Savage. It's, it's the oh, let's go somehow. Oh, so, you know. oh. Now we have Sister Ty in here. <laughs> sister Ty. They have to ask Sister Ify. Yeah, too. Sister Ify is good. You know. Um, <laughs> they all up there, man. Um. Right. Yeah. So you took a break from radio. You took yes, a break yes. from you know doing your usual podcast. Yes. What took you away from that passion? Okay. So um, thank, thank, thanks for asking that question. So um, previously I mentioned on my professional career you know I'm, I'm a full-time active in the military right now uh, I'm in the United States Air Force um, security forces light infantry so it takes a lot of my time you know I have that's I love it you know I do everything with my heart I love the military that's my go-to you know I've been in for about almost 12 years now as a matter of fact and um, um, it's it's taking a little bit of my time with deployment and what I mean by deployment is you know I, I you know we train and deploy we go overseas and you know we fight the good fight you know mm-hmm. so um during that process i dedicate my time to the military full 100 percent. so i can't focus on on on, on my ent- entertainment passion you know mm-hmm. so um once i once i leave for deployment everything kind of slows down on that side stuff. exactly but as i speak right now i'm in tra- i'm in the transition of going through the um the, um, the reserves Right. Which will give me a little bit time. Okay. The reserves is pretty much like a part time military, yeah. so it will give me more time to focus on my passion on the entertainment side. And then still get your money from exactly. So mm-hmm. you know, so I can I'll, I'll do both sides. You know, yeah. so that military yeah. money. <laughs> but how do you how do you feel as um, an African yeah. serving for the U.S. military okay. when? Obviously, let's say most Africans back home yeah. are not such a huge fan of the U.S. president, yes. you know, due yeah. to some comments he makes and all yeah. that kind of stuff. When you go out there on deployment, do you still carry that honor? Yeah. Do you still have that vim that, oh, I'm doing something for a good cause, even yeah. though I know my people back home yeah. will be like, oh, really? Yeah. He should come back to Ghana and help Ghana police. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like that? Yeah, so once again, thanks for that question. Now, I want to explain something real quick. This is, let me use this opportunity to explain something. One thing that Ghanaians or everybody must know is America is not just for, excuse me, for the white. We, all immigrants in America makes America. Right. Everybody the Ghanaians, Africans, Africans, uh, Asians, Asians everybody. We it's a collective thing. We make America. Right. So if if I'm serving America, it's I'm I'm if I'm serving America, I'm doing it for for us. Yeah. Because we make that place. All the immigrants. The, in there. The, the, yeah, exactly. We make that place hold. So um, with my commander in chief, which is the president of America, he some of the comments that he makes, um, if if people take it personal, they might. You know, kind of exactly. Right. So, um, I personally don't. I don't take it personal. Um, I just, I just do what I have to do, and I serve the country with pride and honor and dignity. And like I said, you know, being a Ghanaian, I reflect 
everybody else. So I go in full hundred percent, dedicated, committed, and reflect on myself and my and, and, and the country of America and Ghanaians as well too. Who are so, in America? Who are in America and even back home? Cause you know, like when I get awarded and stuff like that, you know, when they ask where I'm from. I take it way back, like I'm from Accra, Ghana, down small precisely. Yay. So it makes everybody proud. So mm -hmm. I'm representing uh, myself and where I'm from. So it, it's a good look on yeah, everybody. That's, that's a good look. That's yeah. like 100% by friend yeah, goals. So. I'm just saying for myself. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, you know, going on deployment, what, 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 where, where have you been to? What are some of the countries that you've been to? Um, so I've been, well, I guess I can talk about this now. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's yeah I've, I've, been to, um, I've been to Russia. Mm. Um, I've been to Kuwait. Mm. Um, I've been to um, Afghanistan. Mm. I've been to uh, Qatar. Uh, I've been to the UAE. We have some bases out there, and then um, you've been some, to a lot of places. Yeah, some other few TDYs that I've been on, I can't think of right yeah. now. So yeah. Oh. So um, you're trying to go on reserve, which will give yes, you more yes. time, yes. and you'll be back on podcasts, right? Yes, I'll be back. Yeah, one, How can we find you? Okay, so. Um, Due to my um, my full time military deployment, uh, mm -hmm. I took away my link, but um, it's gonna come back. And everything once I put everything together, it's all gonna fall under dsbproductions.com. So we we currently work on the website right now. So once it's up and going, I'll come back and see you guys and put it out there. See, we'll yeah. give it to you exclusively <laughs> right here on the Mail TV. Yeah. Anyways, guys, it's been such 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 amazing having big sam yeah <laughs> getting to know him and getting to know all the things that he's been up to and we can't wait to keep you updated on what he does next do stick and stay it's a tv bringing you nothing but the best in entertainment